All right. Thank you very much, <laughs> Faith. Okay, that's about it, I guess. Yes, that is about it. For All right. Morning. We'll yes, take this yes. quick break and then when we return, it will be time for news. Just stay tuned. the morning show and it's time for hashtag i wanted to say welcome back it's, it's, still, it's still hashtag <laughs> okay she's here I mean, it's still me i'm still here yeah you're still here <laughs> though and i'm here to bring you trends from all over social media definitely i must say today's a wonderful wednesday and you look nice as usual and i'm happy to see you on oh, wednesday yeah. Yeah. right yes <laughs> mono is there standing in for I mean. <laughs> Well, you're doing an incredible job. It's not easy to be on the morning show on Wednesday. It is very nice. Show you enjoyed it. Ah, uh, yeah. Lots of information. <laughs> Super is your legs. I know, right? Thank you. Okay, so now let's move on to what we have from hashtags. We're not not a lot today, but we're going to be talking about the removal of the service chiefs, and that is starting in Nigeria. Mm. People are talking about the list specifically on social media, talking about the changes that were made. But don't take it from me. Let's go straight into what people are seeing on social media. The first one says, I'm not carried away by all Same way we saw General Burutai when he was made COAS, that's Chief of Army Staff, in 2015, and we all shouted, Boko Harama in soup. He ended up a disaster, even with all the body language of General Buhari. Have high hopes at your own peril. Hmm. The next one says, you should be glad the president appointed very competent officers and ensured federal character in doing so. General Lagbaja isn't General Buratai, and Tinumbu is not Buhari. Anyone who knows General Lagbaja can attest to his competence and professionalism. He was Commander 9th Brigade, Lagos. The next one is, says, I heard personnel jubilated at the Defense HQ yesterday when General Lagbaja and his team were announced. Shows President Tinumbu did a thorough job in appointing them. Round pegs in round holes. Typical BAT. So it says, good readings to nepotism-laced politics. Doesn't matter your political affiliation. Nigeria is ours to protect. President Tinubu's appointment thus far has shown great inclusiveness. It's highly commendable. May not succeed. May you succeed, sir. Sorry. Okay, next one we're looking at says, national security advisor, Northeast Muslim, chief of defense staff, Northwest Christian, Chief of Army Staff, Southwest Muslim, Chief of Naval Staff, Southeast Christian, Chief of Air Staff, Northwest Muslim, Chief of Intelligence, South South Christian, Inspector General of Police, Southwest Christian. Our final reaction to this one says, Igbos are not for tokenism. That you appointed an Igbo as Chief of Naval Staff is not the issue. Check the list of appointments so far. How does that represent fairness? It was don't need token, but equ equity, fairness, and justice in the distribution of political positions. Can we move so, on? So yes, if you don't mind, I'd like to take it to the United States of America. While why they are dealing with or where they are dealing with discriminatory information that the government mm -hmm. is willing to, you know, clamp on always willing to use people's information or data against them. <laughs> so now the Consumer uh, Financial Protection Bureau, an agency of the American government, set up to implement and enforce federal consumer financial laws and ensure that markets for consumer financial products are fair, transparent, and competitive, is now gathering non-financial intrusive data of their customers. The CFBPB, CFPB, which has primary authority to enforce federal consumer financial laws for banks and other depository institutions with total assets of more than $10 billion, and their affiliates have added criteria such as nationality, race, ethnicity, and sexual orientation to information needed for small and medium business owners to assess loan facilities for their businesses. Well, let's watch now as uh, U.S. Senator Kennedy of Louisiana queries the CFPB director, Rohit Chopra, on why the CFPB needs to know the information that they're asking and what they intend to do with it. Is your rule going to require banks to ask the customer about their race, 
So that that yes is in this no. that is in the statute and about their race. Are is your rule going to require the bank to ask the customer about their ethnicity? So just to be clear, in the sample form, it allows the borrower to self-identify or refuse. Just answer my question. No, I, I'm trying to no, be clear. No, you're not. No, you're not. Y your rule would would require a bank to ask the question of a small business person, what's your race? What's your ethnicity? What's your sexual preference? Are you gay? Are you a woman? Now that's that's you can you can bubble wrap this all you want, but that's what your rule does. Now the customer, particularly in a small town, is going to go whoa. What's my sexual preference have to do with a loan? And the customer can say, I don't want to answer. But then the bank has got, you're requiring the bank to tell you that they wouldn't answer. And all of this data is going to go to your agency. And we don't have the slightest idea how you're going to use it, except you say you're going to publish it. Well, we will not get any names but, at but, all. But, they, they, yeah, but you're going to have data sets so that it's if it's possible. You, you can't tell me it's not possible to have this information known. Why do you want all this? I don't. Let's go to the comments and see what Please, people have to say about that. let's get to hear that. Now, this first person says, Now, while this ploy isn't the Bible's mark of the beast, Today's nefarious workers for economic authoritarianism are slowly gathering data so that at one point in the future, they will according to their scales and will either met out their request or deny them so they can watch them wither on a dying vine of no free market resources. People may someday have to bear a digital yellow badge of sorts as dictated by their monetary masters to indicate they are now outsiders of the sphere of their controlled economic transactions. Hmm. The next one we're taking says, the CFPB possesses considerable power but lacks sufficient oversight and accountability mechanisms. Concerns have been raised about the agency's structure as it operates with a single director who has significant decision-making authority without the traditional checks and balances associated with a multi-member commission. The next person just goes, this is unbelievable. <laughs> really unbelievable. It just says, this is unbelievable. And in capital letter, this mm. is unbelievable. Totally unbelievable and uncalled for. Let's take the final comment <laughs> now before we finish. <laughs> this next person says, none of the information collected will tell you if someone has been treated unfairly. By using this data, you can only make assumptions. And this idiot trying to say no names are given to the government is a joke. Yes, the actual file transmitted annually will not have names, but will have an application identifier which ties back to a customer's name mm -hmm. and all demographics. Mm -hmm. So yes, the government does have access and it is not confidential. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Faith. Okay, that's about it, I guess. Yes, that is about it. For all right. We'll yes, take this yes. quick break and then when we return, it will be time for news. Just stay tuned.